and you look down at the sodium. It's time for Andrew Myrick's diet consultation. Hi, I'm Tally. I'm the dietitian and going to talk to you today about your diet and see how you're doing at home. The 55-year-old Tupelo resident was treated recently at the North Mississippi Medical Center for congestive heart failure. For years, hospitals have seen high readmission rates for patients such as Myrick. That translates into higher medical expenses and costs for all of us. And readmission rates are one of the new guidelines on which hospitals will be rated starting next year. That's why doctors at NMMC have launched the Self-Care College. So instead of uh, passive learning where we'd give them a book or a pamphlet, we actually watch the patient do these acts weighing themselves, asking them what they eat, watch them plan their medications. And if they can't do a task, then we can allocate resources to ensure that they are able to do that. At the self-care college, patients receive guidance from a dietitian, a pharmacist, and they also register in a four-week callback program. For Myrick, the class has meant a permanent lifestyle change. Uh, the class was very, it was very uh, important to me because uh, you know, at one time I really had a lot of salt intake going into my body and uh, knowing that, I'm knowing that it wasn't good, but you know, I still was using a lot of salt. He has lost nearly 50 pounds and believes the self-care college will keep him out of the hospital. Oh no, I'm not coming back. I know what to do now. Early results look promising since June, more than 50 patients have been through the self-care college and readmission rates for those patients much lower than the national average. Indeed, those results are capturing the attention of many in the medical community in this day and age of skyrocketing health care costs. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.